All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Hayless Game Stream with Geeks Like Us. We are continuing our playthrough of Valiant Hearts: The Great War, a fantastic little game about World War One. And I believe this is our fourth week playing the game. Don't mind my dog just jumping for attention over here. Um, I believe this is the fourth week of us playing through this game. It's a game that I've taught with a couple of times. I taught it when I did a world history a couple of years back, and I actually did it two years ago in my video games literature course. Uh, so it's called Valiant Hearts the Great War, and it's all about World War my I. Darling, war has taken away a very dear friend. He was like a brother to me. And his death affects me much For more anyone who doesn't know, my name is Zachary Hartsman. I'm the founder yeah, of Hayless and Games. I'm a public high school teacher countries. in New York City, and, and I teach with video games a lot. I incorporate I'll them into my curriculum in pretty much any way I can. And this is one of the games I've taught with, so I figured we'd play through it and talk about how and why I've used it. And just chill and answer any other games you all might have. Carl discovered things were not, in fact, any better. According to Marie's last letter, his son fallen So this game is historical fiction, but it is right, it's based on real events and it's actually the game actually incorporates a lot of primary resources and nonfiction text into it. Which you'll see as we play through. And we're in chapter three. We're just starting chapter three. I believe there are four chapters. Right, I need wire cutters. And it, the game is presented in this comic book style, and it's basically it's basically a big puzzle game, really. It's solving puzzle after puzzle. So this dog wants meat. What? Probably water or something there. In a prisoner of war camp in France. Oh, nothing over here. We're in the barracks. I don't know if there's anything in here we need. Oh, he's got like a pipe or something in there. Alright, so he's not letting me up there yet. So a lot of the game is figuring out how to get from one step to the next. There's no like actual fighting, it's all just puzzles. What's the purpose of this? I gotta throw something at that. What do we got? Notebook. Many soldiers had notebooks in which they wrote their, their diaries and memoirs. The notebooks provided historians with first-hand accounts of the horrors of war experienced by soldiers. Cool. Those are the types of texts and artifacts that I mentioned you can find in the game. So he wants water. But I have to fix that pipe outside, right? Oh, we got coal. Anything up here? Alright. What does this one do? That turns that. Now this one, right? Oh, I see. Oh, wait. Oh, the middle one. Right, okay. Hey, Bear Jew, how's it going? way. I'm doing okay. Struggling with puzzles as usual. Can't do that. 
that. Let me do that. Almost. Okay. I'm like one turn off. I didn't mean to do it twice there. Yes, yes, bird, I know. I need help. It's okay. That's not going to do it, right? Ugh, oh, I'm still one off. Okay. got it. And now we're going to go over here. Oh wait, no. Fuck, how did I mess it up? It's the problem with puzzle games sometimes is that it can take a little bit too long. I didn't want to do it twice. That's annoying. Because then I'm going to be... This is tough. Same mistake as before. I think I did. Okay. No, I didn't do it. I'm still one off. Oh, Bear Joe, I'm struggling here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I keep pushing it two times by accident. Oh, 
Nope, steam still went off. I gotta get it. That's still one off, right? You believe me. If you weren't cooking dinners, you could think through it better. <laughs> no worries. It's wrinkling my brain, you know? This is why when I played it with my students, I had a guide nearby. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what the hint is. Oh, am I doing it wrong? It wants the top one. I thought it wanted to go... Okay, so apparently I'm doing it wrong for now. Okay, so it wants the water to go outside. Oh. Bear, I'm doing it completely wrong. Alright. I have to make the water go outside. And now... I gotta do that so the water comes down. This damn game. Oh, and it's already done. And now I can give this dude a shower. There we go. I was thinking about it the wrong way. I don't know why I'm giving this dude a shower, though. I assume I need to find, like, a cup now. All that for shower. I assume I have to go back there at some point. Anything? No, those are the barracks. We were already in there. Anything in here? He wants a pipe. I saw a pipe somewhere else, but it was blocked off. Okay. I don't know what he wants. I probably have to put something in there. He needs first aid. Okay, so once I find first aid, I come back here. It's a little crazy. Can I go past him? Can't go past him. Oh, and if I need to get first aid, I gotta get the dog with some meat and he needs wire cutters okay so we got the the whole chain of events planned out first we got to find the meat for the dog to get the first aid and the wire cutters anything over here he also needs first aid what do we got going on I see a bandana. No. Can I throw something at these these bags? All right, so I probably need to find something to throw. Oh, I have a piece of coal. That didn't work. That was a waste. Okay. What do we got? Life in prisoner of war camps. Even in capacity, class differences still counted. Some camps were reserved for officers and other for foot soldiers. Prisoners were generally underfed, even more so if local population was also undernourished. Prisoners of war were placed civilians at the front and were forced to work in munitions factories on farms or down mines. All right, let's head in here. Nope, that's this guy. Can't do anything in here for now.
What about this way? We didn't go over here. Blocked off. And these are the barracks, right? But the pipe is up there. Nothing over here. We got a, a note. Letter from Hungarian prisoner. That's okay. Alright, that's the shower. Was there anything over here? Nothing over here. So, I'm missing something in here, right? Like, why did I... Let's see what the bird says. No, next hint in 28 seconds. No, there's nothing over here. Let's see. Nope, that's the same hint. How do I get over there? Because they got the food. That's the barracks. But the dog wants meat. He wants the wire cutters. Hmm. He wants a pipe. Oh, wait. I see meat up there. Can I do anything from over here? And he wants meds. This is all very confusing. I see the meat up there, so I have to get the pipe. How do I get the pipe? What does the X mean? I'm about to look it up. How do I get the pipe? And it's always something very simple. And it makes you feel stupid that you couldn't do it on your own. Let's see if I can find a quick... In class, I would always do quick Google searches. How to get the pipe... Valiant Hearts. Okay, okay. Head back, grab a lump of what looks like coal, then go back outside. Broken pipe, next, okay. Head into the sausage house. Wheel it back. Wheel the bin over to your side, then set where are the suspenders. Oh, okay, so that. You see his freaking suspender is right there. Okay. That's silly. Now I'm gonna give this guy suspenders. Wrong ladder. That's what I missed. So the dude takes the shower, takes off his clothes, alright? But now I got his suspenders, and I'm gonna go give it to the guy who's gonna give me the meds. Not over here, that's the barracks. Now we're gonna go back over here. Right, 
Right. Okay. Now we're gonna give this dude suspenders. He gives me meds. Okay. And now we gotta go give meds to another guy. That dude wants the pipe. Um, now it's back that way. There was another place with those buckets, right? Or like the things up top that I threw coal at. I think we can... That's the shower place. I think we go up here. Oop, not over here. Got a new diary entry. Life... Oop, we did that already. No problem. In here. This dude needs meds. Thank you. I got a bandana. Will the dude now let me in? At the barracks? Let's go find out. That's the sausage place. Barracks are over here. Oh yeah, because he's got a red bandana on. Okay. Now we're gonna go here, we get the pipe. Now we go back to that dude with the vegetables. We're gonna get this meat. Oh, we got a thing. Biscuit box. Prisoners suffered from hunger in camps and food was often stolen. The metal box was handmade to came prior biscuits. Its owner could take food reserves with him when he went to work to avoid being stolen. Alright, we got some meat. Now we're going to head over to the dog. Now we can go inside. Get the wire cutters. Ooh, now we got to be extra sneaky. They know. Well, we did not get very far. That's a flashback. Poor Freddy. You can see here in the flashback, you can see their eyes, right? But during the actual gameplay, during the war, all their eyes are in shadow. You can't be seen, covered up.
darker than other parts of the game. I forget where we left off with Freddy. There you go, pull him out. Let's get going. Power not working. I think it was a boss fight, right? We saved the father and now... get some electricity going. Cool. Yes, it was the boss fight with the tank. What do we got? Flashlights. Flashlights are common in trenches. Army issued flashlights were made to fit in a cartridge belt and function with batteries. A couple new people joining the stream. For anyone who doesn't know, my name is Zachary Hartsman. I'm the founder of Hey Listen Games, and I'm a high school teacher in New York City. And we're currently playing through Valiant Hearts, a game that I've taught with a couple of times over the years. Broken German bayonet. This long, broad, flat German bayonet is designed to thrust into the enemy's ribcage and break his ribs. Oh, wait. I guess I could pick up some dynamite. Just in case we need. I see. Okay, so I need to go stand on the platform and I'm gonna instruct my little doggy friend to push the lever so that I can travel the thing and throw the dynamites. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we're gonna go back and pick up whatever that thing was. I don't know what it is, but it's probably something important. Not over here. Let's go back out. Okay, yeah. Oh, what do we got? Armored vehicles. Ar assault artillery was invented during the war in an attempt to break through enemy lines. The first prototypes of armored vehicles appeared. Gen generals noted the vehicles fitted with wheels were ineffective in a trench environment. Engineers thus worked on prototypes to overcome the problem, and Caterpillar tracks proved to be the perfect solution to the problem. Now what? Oh, I guess I still need one more piece. Or not. Cool. I guess we just keep going. What does this do? The other dude went that way, but I like exploring, so I'm gonna go see what's over here. What do we got? German coins. My grandfather, who fought in World War II, stole a lot of German coins and brought them home after the war. My, father, my dad still has a whole collection of them. 
No, so we need we need we need the gun. Okay. He or as they like to say, he liberated the coins. Uh, I did that wrong. Oh, I need to make the shape. Like that. Is that what he wants? I think it's that. Now I need just the diamonds. Is that a diamond? I can't really tell. It looks like it might be. Let's see if it works. Looks like a diamond. Beautiful. Any more? No. All right, let's get out of here. See the lever over here. There we go. Now we're moving. Oh, that's fun. Can't even tell if these are my allies or not. Probably not. Kill that guy. If they aren't penalizing you, then it's clearly okay. a little bit. Alright, got those guys. Now we get this dude. What do 
do I do here? I'm doing something wrong. can't get out of the tank, so what am I supposed to do? I am hitting up on the... What am I supposed to do? I can't just, like, shoot the building non-stop. Hmm. I'm doing something wrong. I assume I see the dynamite. Really, it just had to be the perfect angle. How many times did I shoot near the window? That part's a little silly. Okay. Destroy some buildings. Why not? What do we got? No man's land. No man's land was the zone located between the allied and enemy trenches. The distance varied between 50 and 1500 yards. The zone was watched closely by day, and anyone venturing out would be shot. By night, it became a theater of espionage. Then barbed wire and traps were set to protect trenches. Most battle casualties resulted in this zone. I don't want to destroy the trees. Lucky Freddy was given a hero's welcome. Hero's welcome. French forces. Emile wrote to Anna to let her know that her father was free. Trees are never the enemy. Freddy and Emile's reunion, however. May 14th, 1916. Freddy the front is moving. To the Somme, while Emile That's a famous Freddy battle, right? Battle of the Somme. Near a small village at the top of a hill. The village still carrying his mighty shovel. It's really hot this here today. It's over 90 degrees in New York. It's gross. Hold up in their trenches. The two camps dug tunnels and galleries. The underground war had begun. Oh, 
SOS, okay. Let me bop some people with the shovel. I guess we're going down. SOS, okay, this way. Guess we gotta go down. What do we got? Uh, Vakoys and Mind Warfare. Underground Warfare really developed beneath the hill of Vakoys. Not pronouncing that correctly. Each si side dug snap. Sides like sapping tunnels beneath tunnels to sabotage the enemy's positions. Opposing engineers frequently came within feet of each other. With the advent of pneumatic drills and ventilation systems, tunnels could be dug deeper. The combined use of 500 TNT completely deformed the hill. Okay, this way, sure. Use my mighty shovel. Go get this guy. Not me, the dog. Oh, I see a thing that Walt can get. I got a can. That's good. Okay, don't go over there. Oh, that's that's annoying. Alright. Apparently there are bombs over there. Good dog. Alright. Let's just not go as... Away, and now we throw the can. All right, we need the TNT thing. Oh, damn. Get that cart down. Now we can go up here. I guess we can go in here first. Oh shit. I can't dig there, so let's go back out. Go this way. Get whatever that is. Just an artifact. Listening device. Oh, like for doctors. Cool. I see. But how do I... So I need to light that on fire, and then it'll blow up all that stuff. But how do I do that? I'm missing something. You go in there. What? 
That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back to this side. Maybe I missed something. Gotta cook those spicy sausages. No. I fix this. No, that just brought him down. Go in there again. Let's see. What if I need to... Do that first? Aha! Okay. Now Walt... It's gonna bring that down. Okay. Now we can bring this over here. Did I kill the dude? There was a dude there, right? Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, my hand is cramping. Hopefully I didn't kill anyone there. Okay. So I gotta dig down. Okay. Walt's already down there. Oh, he's got the, the parakeet in a coal mine. Oh, he's dead. How did you get in that situation, dude? That's very reckless. The tension in that rope would be ridiculous. Alright. Can't go out that way. Let's go this way. After this sequence, we'll probably pause for the week. It's extraordinarily hot in my apartment right now. The AC is struggling a lot to keep it cool. The problem in New York l lately is that it's been hot and humid, and the ACs don't work well in humidity. Mine's been running like non-stop all day. <laughs> it's like I can't even reach the set temperature. I think I have it set to 73 right now, and it's just like... It's 78 degrees. Is that not... Oh, okay. I, I can't leave the guy.
<laughs> I got a new best friend. That is a big rock to be able to push. Oh, is that an enemy? Was that a German soldier? It was. I helped this German dude. I see it. He's letting me go. That's a good guy. A minecart. Okay. Teaching gamers. Hey, how's it going? All right, now I go back down. And we're allowed to go this way now, right? All right, can't do that yet. Stoke them playing Valiant Hearts. Yeah, I think this is the fourth week we've been playing it. Um, a little over halfway through the game, I believe. Oh, what do we got? I need a wrench. Okay. Was there another door? There's a ladder. Oh, wait, no. Wrench is up there. Where'd he go? What? I don't know where I just sent the dog. But the wrench is up there and that's what I need. I guess we just gotta go down for now. Okay, I sent him down. Is that anything? Nope. What do we got? British identification tag, like a dog tag. British changed their dog tags in the course of the conflict. At the start of the war, soldiers were issued with a single aluminum, or I should, aluminum as they say it, disc, but because of the huge numbers of volunteers, producers, and engravers could not keep up pace with demand. The aluminum disc were replaced by red vulcanized asbestos fiber disc. Asbestos, is, that, is that okay? It's pretty bad. In 1916, the war office requested the addition of a second disc to cope with the problem of unidentified corpses. Um, is that a thing? That is a thing. I wasn't sure that would work. Well, hold up. There's Germans right there. Oh no, the Germans are up top. These are these are my dudes. Okay. All right, send the dog into danger, obviously, instead of me. What? Well, no, come on, Walt. We're gonna go this way. Oh, yeah. Good dog. Now we gotta go all the way back. One of the best video game dogs ever. Yeah, you actually you can actually pet him. That's a very good barometer when it comes to dogs and games. Can you pet the dog? You can pet Walt. Where do 
I want to take this? Probably onto the that thing, right? Oh, we got some dynamite over here. You see all that? I assume. I think I'm gonna ask these dudes. You want the card over here? Bring the card over there, then. Why didn't you guys go get the card? Forcing me to do that. We have to blow some people up. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's my German friend. That's unfortunate. That dude helped me. French officers were proud of the heavy losses inflicted on the enemy. Emil, full of anger refused to be decorated for what he considered to be a cowardly act. Emil and Freddy were, however, happy to have saved Anna's father from Baron von Dorf's clutches. His scientific research could no longer be used to make weapons of war. Good news being few and far between, they wanted to savor this moment. But Anna had frightening news. Uh-oh. Carl had been killed while trying to escape the POW camp. That's not true. Upon hearing of his death, Emil became sickened with grief. Five days earlier. Okay, now we're going to cut to Carl. But we're probably going to stop here. Seems like a good stopping point. Right after this cutscene. Okay, right, af right after this. We'll do the runaway. What happened to the dude I was with? Oh boy. Funny, funny sound effects. I did it. Cool. It's 
hide inside. That didn't work. How far back am I? Can I just ignore that? Do anything with these apples? Can't grab the apples. It's got to be something. They're not moving. It's got to be something with the apples, right? Okay, I have to punch the apples. <laughs> Distract them with food, and now run. This is a ridiculously long way to open a door. Army internal correspondence. Cool. I don't need to read that. Oh damn, he's right there. I got a little bridge, now I can go clip the barbed wire. Can't just go around it. There's too much. Oh, really? That dude came out of nowhere. That's why he got me, I didn't notice. It's just on the turn. I need one of those wine bottles. My goodness. Oh, real quick, okay. Uh-oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, that doesn't work. Ah, I see. Pretend to be a scarecrow. Go a little further and then switch next time.
All right, dude, go away. I don't know if I still need this, but I'm taking him. I don't think I need him. Hide with the sheep. Be a sheep, be a sheep. It's like Assassin's Creed, hiding with the monks, yeah. Alright, get to this one. I like the stars in the background. Oh damn. Oh cool, so you just gotta run. This is a cool scene. with this dude. Wilfred. Alright, we're gonna put on his clothes. Or he just switched dog tags? I think he switched dog tags. Yeah, he switched dog tags. September 15, 1916. Alright, once this narration ends is where we're going to call it for the evening. I do know that Randall Hampton is on with drawing conclusions in 20 minutes. With a big name, gave something. All I know is that he's uh, he's got a big following, so it should be cool. A major progress in a conflict that was literally stuck in the mud. But Baron von Dorf was also counting on this battle. Baron von Dorf. In front of his superiors. All right, this is where we're going to stop for the evening. We will be back same time next week. Seven, oh, no, not next week. I'm actually going to be in Disneyland next week on vacation. So we'll be back in two weeks uh, at same time, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you all again for joining me. Once again, this is the Halo Game Stream where we play games I've taught with. And it, it's been fun. So I'll see you all in two weeks. Thanks for stopping by T Teaching Gamer. Thanks for anyone else who's joining or who joined. Thank you as always, Bear Jew. See you all later. Hey, Space Cowboy.